Tired of pumping expensive gasoline into your car? Well, one Japanese company reveals an eco-friendly car that runs on water. Using the company's generating system, water is converted into electrical power. Let's take a look at this amazing development. All you need is a liter of water, any kind of water to be exact, whether it's river, rain, seawater, or even Japanese tea. Genepax unveiled a car that runs on water in the western Japanese city of Osaka. They say it's an electric-powered car that runs solely on hydrogen dioxide. The main characteristic of this car is that no external input is needed. The car will continue to run as long as you have a bottle of water inside for you to add from time to time. According to Japanese broadcaster TV Tokyo, once the water is poured into a water tank at the back of the car, the newly invented energy generator takes out the hydrogen from the water, releases electrons and finally generates electric power. We highly recommend our system since it does not require you to build up an infrastructure to recharge your batteries, which is usually the case for most electric cars. According to Genepax, one liter of water keeps the car running for about an hour at a speed of 80 kilometers or 50 miles an hour. The company has just applied for a patent and is hoping to collaborate with Japanese automobile manufacturers to mass manufacture their invention in the very near future. Once more again, the new innovation in Turkey by Malatia Metropolitan Municipality. The first and only facility of Turkey that generates electricity from unsanitary disposal. Effluvia, fire, and carbon emission had seriously been causing a threat for quality of life. The problem has increasingly continued so far as a consequence of population growth, rapid urbanization, and industrialization. We, Malatia Metropolitan Municipality, take justified pride of activating the first and only facility of Turkey that generates electricity from unsanitary disposal by rehabilitating 101 acres of landfill in order to produce a permanent solution for better life quality. The energy facility, which has been equipped with modern technologies, meets the requirement of illumination for approximately 10,000 houses with 2.2 MWs of electricity generation per hour daily.
we put an end to environmental pollution similar to air pollution, which occurs by 1,200,000 liters of fuel burnout. With our environmental projects as Malatia Metropolitan Municipality, we sorted the issue of waste storage out with the new landfill facility, which was located on 128.5 acres of land. We continue to work on energy production technology as Malatia Metropolitan Municipality. So we are planning to supply the illumination needs of 50,000 houses by increasing the electricity generation from waste gases to 8.5 MWs with energy production projects from gasification, LFG gas, and biogas tanks. We accommodate with energy for your future. Malatia Metropolitan Municipality. A most promising energy solution today is to harness the kinetic power of the ocean waves and the flowing currents of sea or river. Many projects are underway and they claim to generate enough electrical energy for millions of homes without burning fossil fuels. These forces of nature are free, steady and predictable. This video presents a new invention on various revolutionary fluid currents energy converter device by combining double acting fluid pumping apparatuses and moving pontoon and racks to convert ocean waves or flowing currents into electricity. The two fundamental mechanical devices are the movable device and the fixed device. Double acting piston pump. A piston is arranged to reciprocate as its piston rod is actuated by a float. When the float moves up as a rising wave passes, it pushes the piston upward and resulting dynamic flow of the fluid closes the left inlet by the ball and fluid pumped out through the center top outlet. At the same time, it causes fluid to flow through the right hand inlet into the chamber. When the float moves down, it pulls the piston downward and partial vacuum generated at the left hand inlet causes the top left ball to open and allow the fluid to flow in. 
At the same time, fluid pressure on the lower side of the piston becomes higher and it causes fluid to flow through the bottom channel into the right hand chamber and pump out through the center top outlet. Based on the fundamental piston reciprocates working principle, many designs of energy converter can be configured. In this example, a submerged pump is operated to pump water to an elevated storage tank. Water from the storage tank is channeled to rotate a fluid motor or a turbine, which in turn rotates a generator to produce electricity. An air piston pump is disposed above the water level. The accumulator and flow control valve help to maintain a more constant airflow to drive a turbine and a generator. This design is integrated to operable both air and water piston pump. A T-shaped actuator bar is pivoted to the body of the pump such that when the float is pushed up and down by weight forces, the actuator bar oscillates about a pivot and, in turn, reciprocates the pistons. This actuator bar pump system uses the above single piston pump and a float pivoted to rise and fall with wave forces. Each pump body is configured to include two actuator T-bar piston pumps being arranged end to end with a sealed turbine disposed in between. The piston of two pumps is interconnected and is linked to a floating pontoon. Now a paddle is pivoted on the pontoon such that when the ocean undercurrents oscillate the paddle, it reciprocates two pistons to pump air and water in a double acting manner. This design oscillates the actuator T-bar. On the top side of the rotary wheel, there is a crank pin or shaft that is located at a radius from the center of the rotary wheel. This piston rods of pumps are separatedly connected to the crankshaft through two link bars. The vertical rotary wheel has a plurality of peripheral aerofoil veins and is partially submerged in a body of running water to catch the running currents and rotate. This design deploy in seabed. When water currents flow through the face of the pendulum member, a lifting force is generated and the pendulum member swings oscillate. This rotary wheel and piston pumps assembly is suspended from a boom on a mobile trailer. A plurality of one or more of the above piston pump configurations can be connected in a network. An ocean farm system comprises a number of network combinations of the above devices, be they the same, mixed or different configurations being linked mechanically or electrically. This concept design is simple and unsophisticated, thus allowing us to harness huge unlimited renewable energy from our surrounding. If you can solve the power, you can solve almost anything.